as you probably have noticed, this thing is buffed to the extent where pretty much every skill has a defense break, or legitimately every skill has a defense break. I could, of course, test that in Giants, but I can also test it somewhere else. And that somewhere else is going to be here. And I have absolutely no clue if this is going to work. Yes, I know I have no, no leader skill in that, but let's see. Please, this S2 kill. Okay, thank you. I was kind of praying for that to happen. If not, I would have had some issues. But since every skill has that, uh, Brandia should have perfect AI. But apparently it doesn't. Okay, let's uh, let's see if that is an issue throughout. But let's see. Okay, we have that. We have that. Hmm. Okay, this is the outslow mechanic. Outslow mechanic kills. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Issue is that Brandia doesn't have perfect AI though. <laughs> but the outslow mechanic does work. Plus, you technically have a perfect. Um, yeah, you technically have a perfect death breaker right now. So this will actually work. Always. The only issue is that she doesn't always go for the S3. But yeah, that's... Hmm, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Also, Seek has perfect AI to use his skill right now. So yes, you're kind of looking at a 15% uh, rest check. But... <laughs> Guys, I beat SF. I know that this is pretty absolute because SF Abyss is gonna be released in a month, but I finally beat SF, boys. I finally beat SF. Could you try without Debra? I don't think you want to run this without. Probably without Debra, it'd still be good to go, actually, but. Oh man, I finally beat SF. Technically, if you go without Debra, I would put something in the Debra slot that has other debuffs too, so you could increase the AI of Brandia. G give me something with an S3. Wait, why does why does the shield stay? She should that thing shouldn't have shield, right? If Harpy gets resisted, you lose, right? Don't don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. That's actually true. Shield is two turns. Oh wait, I thought it was one turn. So the outslow mechanic doesn't actually exactly work. Hmm. Hmm. Could you try fire Debra? You need the Debra to kill, so that's why the Debra cannot be replaced. Wait, but the shield is one turn, isn't it? No, 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 it's one turn, it's one turn. So, yeah, that's a... Uh, Brandia replacement? No Brandia replacement. There, there's no Brandia replacement in this. Um, the only thing that if you could do... Um, name a unit with an AoE skill 3, and that puts uh, any debuffs on S1, S2. N name any unit, because then I can replace the Debra. But, yeah, boys, we finally beat SF. <laughs> because if I put more debuffs on an S1 and an S2 on a high consistent rate, yeah, Jara, that doesn't have AoE. Guys, listen. <laughs> we needed to clean the waves, and we needed to put debuffs. Wind Asura? Mm, 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 mm. Bad, bad, technically. Wrong element! <laughs> boys, focus! We have a mission over here. Debuffs. Julie doesn't have debuffs. Why Seek though? Seek has perfect AI. Um, homunculus? No. I uh, Technically Homunculus, yes. Homunculus could actually work. But then you need Homunculus for it again. Nefties. Um, good point. Good point. I, I, we're, we're cooking. We're cooking. That doesn't really help. Lucian? That doesn't debuff. <laughs> we need multiple debuffs because she can go for that skill. So the thing is we need something if she has more debuffs. She is more likely to use a proper skill. So we kind of want to have like a... Oh, uh, wait. I was like, oh, this is potential to roll. Wait, it was already rolled. So AoE skill 3. Orochi doesn't have AoE skill 3. <laughs> AoE skill 3 with uh, debuffs, multiple debuffs, preferably multi-hit on a skill 1, skill 2. So we need something like that. Linda... Uh, Linda is not that great. Fire Panda doesn't have AoEs. Wind Asura. I think Wind Asura is for Max Million. Can you guys actually be useful for once? <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Jesus, Seth. Seth, technically, Seth. Mm, 
does have the S2, does have an S1. Seth technically makes a lot more sense than most things you have been uh, saying so far. Light Joker. Light Joker is not bad either. Wait, what does the Light Joker drop? Kung Fu Girl, nah, to RNG. I think Seth is probably something that I can dig the most. Rika? Rika doesn't dot on S1. So, uh, yeah, Seth. And Seth has a tech lead. I kind of I like, like what you're cooking there, sir. Because technically this can drop multiple things as well. So that's I kind of like that. Seth and the attack lead. Yes, you, you're smart. You should. I was actually thinking like another fire unit that might do is another fire unit that also has attack lead. And I think it's a elemental one, which I was thinking about, which is you, Amanda. Amanda's also an option because, well, no, you just death break. Useless. Okay, Seth it is. Seth it is. We're going to cook in the Seth. Sierra has perfect AI. It doesn't do anything on the S1. Fire Monkless, yes, but I don't want to use another Monkless. So, yeah, that's... Uh, we, we do have the issue where um, Brandia doesn't use skill 3. This is actually not that bad. So we're going to have the fire uh, or uh, Seth in there. And Seth has to be... Why are you guys all naming stuff that doesn't make any sense? Does Joe Gunn have an, uh, anything that has related to people? Seth. And now we have attack lead as well. Okay, Brandia. Show me the force and the power. Because now we have a Seth attack lead, easy cleanup, that's perfect what we want to see. Um, it does have debuffs on that skill as well, technically two, potentially two. So uh, that will help a little bit more with damage as well. And Seth decides to, well, okay, Seth doesn't go for perfect AI for some stupid reason. Does he not have enough skills up? Is that the issue? I don't know. So let's give that a try. Also, Seth, in case that he doesn't clean up, eh, Brandia doesn't do enough damage. E do we need Debra for enough damage? Is that the issue? Clear it! Rip. <laughs> Wait, do we need more debuffs than three? That's impossible to get though. So you kind of are forced to get the Debra in to make this work. And then you're still working with the Brandia that might decide like, skill three? Fuck skill three. So yeah, uh, that's too bad. That's too bad it seems. But let's give that another try. Let's give that another try. Let's see if that was a, a fluke or something that actually uh, happens uh, most of the time. I think with that, if there was actually the dot as well, it would have been fine. But in this case, probably not. Yeah, nope. You need more damage. You need the Debra. But even with the Debra, you still have the issue where Brandia could decide to go skill 3. Hell no. Fuck that shit. So you could still fail with Debra as well. But I just wanted to make the video of saying like, hey, we beat this up. Like in the end, this doesn't matter that much because we're going to get Steel Fortress in SF, which is going to be a uh, living hell anyways. Trust me on that one because you cannot dot it. Full fight sets on Seth. I'm not sure if Seth would actually kill it then, but I'm lacking quite some damage to actually get anywhere. So yeah, Debra's uh, pretty OP and uh, pretty much a must, it seems. J just for the sake of it, I want to run this a few more times. Brandia has pretty close to perfect AI, but it is not perfect. It becomes better the uh, more amount of debuffs you have. So, I don't know. I don't know. Full on team with seal for more. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's not gonna work. Funny enough that uh, Deborah S2 actually does pretty much as much damage as a Seth S2. But yeah, with the Seek having perfect AI, you can actually probably um, do a lot of things together. I think there's perfect AI with three debuffs, is there? If you have something that would drop perfect AI, three debuffs, then yeah, also in this case, it doesn't exactly work out because, well, wrong skill. The moment she goes for wrong skill, you're fucked. And the thing is, uh, maybe if someone has like a way better Brandia than I do, you can get away with it. But without, uh, I kind of doubt it. So I'm not sure. Well, Brandia has perfect AI with three debuffs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure too. I'm pretty sure too, but thing is, if she doesn't kill, yeah, then the perfect AI doesn't really help you as well. You need about 180k to kill the boss, yep. So, way better Brandia than you. Yeah, it's it's possible, I guess. But I must say that I'm really liking these two together. Like, you can probably, like, this maybe doesn't work, 
but the idea behind this of seek always attack buffing this thing always death break like i haven't seen a single miss on death break on that unit a single one which is insane and that's just by itself then you need to give Brandia your good rules. She has good rules. Well, the thing is, this whole team is based on outslowing. This is using the outslow mechanic from a different video. Um, I could technically say, like, I don't use the outslow mechanic and I use a Gina, and then the Gina will give, like, the uh, buff block. You can probably work this team away um, where you have it slightly differently, where you would say, um, can, you, can you make that work? I'm not sure. Because the outslow mechanic is pretty big. But I think you can make this team work maybe in a different way, quite a bit slower. And then you go for actually uh, buff blockers in there and that kind of stuff. You have like a buff blocker, like the Gina Perfect AI one. You add in maybe the um, the Fire Lizard, then a Brandia, and then something else. Like something along that line could be something that would potentially work. You would lose your attack buff though. That's the only thing because you would have to keep the Armor Breaker in. But you would lose the attack buff in the process. So in this case, uh, doesn't that part doesn't really matter. But yeah, the I really like this um, this lady on the left. She's insane. Like I haven't seen her. Like the thing is, her S three is guaranteed. Wait, why did I? Oh, it's probably wrong skill. Is Brandia fifty five crit rate? Yes, it's fifty five crit rate. But the reason that Brandia is not on like a crazy crazy set is because of the out slow mechanic. And because of the outslow mechanic and Brandia's base speed, I'm only allowed to give 21 speed max to this. So, uh, Debra died. Ah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I would have to make Debra slightly more tanky. Yeah, that makes sense. But I cannot make um, this any faster than this. Like, sure, I have better stats than 2.2 and like 276. But the thing is, I need to have will. That is a must. And I need to have that other stuff in. That's a must. So... What I would say that would maybe work if you want to do this like in a slight different way. If you put in the Gina over here. Gina based on like the perfect AI mechanics. So you can use this S3 into that S3 for wave clear. This S2 becomes the S2 that will always uh, buff block. Then you would have to do a... Um, I would say you have to put in... Where's that lizard ass guy going at? Da -da -da, here. Um, you would have to build something along the lines of this. I think something along the lines of this, if your Brandia has good enough damage, you could be good to go as well. Because this thing actually gives the beneficial block thing all the time, and this is a pretty high rate for it. It also has like um, some other stuff in here as well. And this thing technically has perfect AI on skill 2. The only issue that you're looking at is a 1 turn. If it was 2 turn, it would be a lot better, but it's 1 turn. Therefore, you need a backup. Plus, there's a 15 check. And because of the 15 check, you need that buff blocker as well. But once again, like all of this is kind of absolute because we're getting the SF dungeon towards uh, Abyss pretty soon. So it's also pretty curious to see like how much they would change with Abyss. But this might be something to look at with Abyss as well. To at least have like the moment we have Abyss in. I wouldn't be surprised if you do maybe different wave clear units, but in the end, you still end up with these two. So maybe you put like a wave clear unit, a protection unit, and then these through for like the, or these three for the um, SF dungeon, which is pretty nice in general. But I just want to, I want to see this one more time just for like the smoothness. I am probably not going to get a run out of uh, like a best of 10 run with this, like all the way through. But this is just so super solid too. Like it is just so nice. Ah, oh, this is just too much stuff. Actually, technically, this thing could already. This thing actually has pretty decent damage too. Not gonna lie. Like if I put artifacts to it, you could clear middle boss probably. So I'm really happy with her because besides her having pretty good AI, oh, uh, Devra died again. Fuck. <laughs> oh, Devra, stop dying. I'm like, wait, why am I not killing? Fucking Devra died. Useless unit. But yeah, there, there's definitely some uh, pretty interesting stuff uh, with this. Like the Seek and the Prelia or whatever her name is. That's nice. Boss knows well how he has to kill. Okay, well, we need just one more run. Just one more run. I kind of want to see how much damage you do. And I kind of feel like you have perfect AI on your S3, don't you? 
Yeah, like so far it could be me, but isn't she using bear hunt like or the boar hunt like all the fucking time? And boar hunt is the one that is um, irresistible. I feel like she's using boar hunt all the time. So this is actually a very insane armor breaker. That's actually very nice. Wow. Like sure, if you want to run this more properly, you, you're still going to lose because of uh, Brandy IS-3 not being used. So in the end, this is not like a valid sound team, but the idea of it is just definitely something I wanted to share. And I just want to see, does she always... No, she actually can go for the S2. But the S2 is so much damage as well. Wow, damn. Yeah, this is definitely for your Giants team. This can definitely be your Death Breaker for Giants team. It's also interesting to note that technically Seek could become interesting for a Dragon's team. Could you use Seek in some kind of way in Dragon's team? Or maybe use the... Uh, what's it called? The Wind Cookie in Dragon's team. Or in Giants team. The Wind Cookie, of course, fits more in Giants. But you could use some interesting things with that. Like, if you're guaranteed to wave clear, or you make the wave clear... Wait! Can I make Julie one-shot waves with attack buff, crit rate buff? We're cooking. We're cooking. Okay. That's the next thing we're gonna try out. Can Julie one-shot waves in Giants? Let him cook. Let him cook. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I like that. I like that. You would drop so much crit rate and actual attack buff. For... Yeah, the thing is for um, Julie would be the lower state. The thing is that the rest of the kit of that unit doesn't really make too much sense. But guys, next video on that one. Let's end the recording here. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. How about Clara one-shotting the waves in FSF? That could definitely uh, be a thing as well. But I'm not sure if that's... Let's actually give that a try. Let's give that a try because that's actually very easy to try. The Clara is not going to get any much better stats. Well, technically she can lower the crit rate if I do this. But just for the sake of trying, I'm going to put you to a faster set, outspeed that other mother rocker. And I want to see if Clara has potential to one-shot wave. Yeah, thanks for dying. Clara, can you one-shot the wave? Yeah, yeah give me a oh, one-shotting wave. You would like... We could do other stuff. Oh, so close. So close. So close. Okay, that could be something... Like, if I lower the crit rate, I can definitely... Like, 100%. I could. That definitely could be a thing as well. Of course, you miss the... Uh, you could work that around in, like, a different team setup. Like, sure, I don't have the attack rate... Or, like, the attack buff and that kind of shit over here. So, this is definitely going to fail. But the... Uh, <laughs> miss crit. <laughs> But yeah, that's definitely because in that case, I technically don't, don't need Deborah in the slot that she does. And you can work around with a different team. Is that easy? No, but that's definitely something you could work around. So that is uh, uh, interesting, interesting as well. So let's think about the other team. 